People say I make strange choices, but they're not strange for me. My sickness is that I'm fascinated by human behavior, by what's underneath the surface, by the world's inside people. I think the thing to do is enjoy the ride while you're on it. As a teenager, I was so insecure. I was the type of guy that never fitted in because he never dared to choose. I was convinced I had absolutely no talent at all. For nothing. And that thought took away all my ambition too. I like the challenge of trying different things and wondering whether it's going to work or whether I'm going to fall flat on my face. If there's any message to my work, it is ultimately that it's okay to be different, that it's good to be different, that we should question ourselves before we pass judgment on someone who looks different, behaves different, talks different, is a different color. Just keep moving forward and don't give a shit about what anyone thinks. Do what you have to do for you. You can close your eyes to the things you don't want to see, but you can't close your heart to the things you don't want to feel. There are four questions of value in life. What is sacred? Of what is the spirit made? What is worth living for? And what is worth dying for? The answer to each is the same. Only love. People cry not because they're weak. It's because they've been strong for too long. Laugh as much as you breathe and love as long as you live. Love is not blind. It simply enables one to see things others fail to see. I am doing things that are true to me. The only thing I have a problem with is being labeled. You grow up a bit damaged or broken, then you have some success, but you don't know how to feel good about the work you're doing or the life you're leading. I've never felt particularly ambitious or driven, that's for sure, although I like to create stuff, whether it's a little doodle, a drawing, a small painting, or movie, or piece of music, so I suppose I'm driven by that. Everything I've done has felt very natural, and it's happened because it's happened. I was angry and frustrated until I started my own family and my first child was born. Until then I didn't really appreciate life the way I should have, but fortunately I woke up. There is nothing on earth that could ever make me want to relive certain years of my life when I was young. 